In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Stutter Edit 2 by Isotope up and running inside of Ableton Live. Here I have the plugin. I'm going to click, drag, and drop it onto the channel or group which I want to affect with Stutter Edit. Now, Stutter Edit 2 is an audio effect, and that's why we have it on the audio channel. Obviously, it can go after a MIDI instrument if that's where you want it. But what we need to do is control Stutter Edit with our MIDI keyboard. To do that, we're gonna have an empty MIDI channel inside of our project. And where it says MIDI 2, we wanna come down and choose the group or the track that has Stutter Edit 2 on it. In my case, it's 2 dash group. And you can see here that Stutter Edit has been automatically selected. The MIDI from is where you're gonna to wanna to choose your MIDI keyboard. I don't have a MIDI keyboard selected, so it's going to default to my computer keyboard. Next, I wanna arm that MIDI channel. And if I press one of the keys on my MIDI keyboard, you can see that Stutter Edit is updating. So if I go ahead and play the audio, You can see that I'm controlling Stutter Edit with the keys on my keyboard, just as it's intended. 